Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Anthem. I am Death From Above. Should you buy this game? Should I buy this game? Should we buy this game as a collective? I think that's a good question. I think it's a question that everybody's been asking the last week since PC early releases come out. And everybody's been watching live streamers play it. I've been playing it. I have not yet hit max level. And I, should you buy it? Um, so I'm going to give you a very complicated answer to the question of should you buy it over the course of this video. Um, but here's my quick and dirty answer to should you buy Anthem, should I buy Anthem. If what you've seen played, you liked, and you think you could spend some time with this game, you should buy Anthem. If you've played the demo and you enjoyed it, you played it for most of the time, you should buy Anthem. If you think it looks like a fun game and you hope that they improve it in the future, you should buy Anthem. If you're not sure, if you're on the fence, if you don't know, don't buy Anthem. I guess that's my that's my uh, analysis. We'll go into some details though. A lot of things coming uh, this week for Anthem. A lot of things happening. My thoughts on a lot of things. Corbin's in the room with me playing some Minecraft behind me. So, hey, <laughs> he says, "Hey, I have his microphone turned on." Um, but <clears throat> yeah, we'll talk about a bunch of stuff that I want to talk about. But that's been the question that I've seen. I've heard. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing back there. That's the question I've seen and heard a lot and the most. People coming into chat in other people's channels when I've been watching during the day and saying, hey, should I buy this game? Or is this game any good? Or blah, 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 blah. And I mean, the answer that the streamer's gonna give you is I'm still playing it, I like it, so yeah, I like it. So <clears throat> that's my, my point of view is I played the demo. I played, I've played the game for a week now. I like it, I liked it enough to buy it before I, it came out last week. I knew I was gonna buy it, but it, I'm, in a, I'm maybe in a little different life situation than most people. I've got a full-time job, stable, I make good money. I can buy these things if I want to. I make enough off of YouTube to be able to quote unquote afford them. So I can, you know, like my video game purchases, I can probably pay for with my, you know, earnings from these things if you guys are so gracious as to watch and to listen and interact and all that stuff. So yeah, I can afford a game a month or a game every two or three months. Not a big deal. So let me take you back to a time when I first started playing video games. We would go to the store, and we would look at the games in the Toys R Us, and we would say, the picture on that game looks good, I wanna buy that one. And that was it! Like, there was nothing else. That that was how we decided what game we wanted to buy. That's how I decided to buy Final Fantasy. I had no idea what the game was about. I never beat it. I couldn't even get past the first like boss, because I didn't know what it was doing. I was like, what is this game? I don't know. But that's how I bought games when I was a kid, and it's like, <clears throat> you can literally go on Twitch and watch someone play this game for the whole, the whole game. And then you could decide if you like it or not. I mean, there's a lot of ability to see what this game is and see if you want to play it, see if you want to buy it, see if you like it. So <clears throat> I think, you know, if you like it, you like it. You can go ahead and get it. Don't be nervous, don't be hesitant. I mean, uh, it, it's a fun game. I like it, the loot grind is fun. So, <clears throat> the day one patch just looked at my game you're gonna be watching gameplay with already the day one patch in there. Um, I it it started downloading while I was recording this live commentary. I was opening things up, and <laughs> Corbin, and uh, it's live now. So big quality of life upgrade with that patch is already out. If you're playing on PC, if you're getting it on Friday, uh, day one patch is gonna have a lot of, a lot of fixes in it, a lot of changes that'll be good for the game, and it's uh, it's there right now. So they're exceeding my expectations by putting these things out quickly uh come out on wednesday uh when the game doesn't even go worldwide live until friday so i like that uh actual gameplay like the core of the game the blowing stuff up the killing things the smashing things the shooting it's not like a visceral first person experience like destiny is to me but it's still fun it's still a lot of fun that's that's what i that's the core of anything for me in a game if I can go in there and the gameplay loop of getting the loot or shooting the mans or something is just a lot of fun, I'm in. That's it. <clears throat> That's why Destiny's kept me for so long because it has such good shooting mechanics. And uh, it's just fun to play. Anthem has got that same fun factor. I mean, it's more gear dependent, but you still getting in there with a team and just nuking things, it's, it's fun. I like it enough. And the gear and the loot is a good chase. Right now it's a good chase. I don't feel overwhelmed by the loot. Some people are complaining or 
maybe not complaining, but they're noticing that the loot is, there's a limited amount of it. Like, we can see kind of how much loot there is to get right now. And they're like, hmm. But they're the full-time streamers that are playing it 10 hours a day, and they're like, I'm going to run out of loot. And I'm like, but they, but they acknowledge, you know, someone like me that only plays an hour, maybe an hour a day, you're not going to run out of stuff to chase. You'll get some masterworks eventually, and you'll get some legendaries, but you're not going to have all of them probably before new content is released. So I don't mind it. It's, it's a good chase. It's fun. There are a ton of bugs. There are a ton of bugs in this game. They're patching most of them right now as I speak. Corbin coughing in the background. But uh, hopefully uh, the bugs will get sorted out. I'm interested to see what the loading's like, what the... Uh, what the gameplay is like, so it'll be a, it'll be a good situation, I think. Yes, sir. <laughs> the blue. All right, you got to talk into the microphone if you're gonna ask me this question. Tell them what you're looking for. Well, um, um. <laughs> okay. He's looking for a blue fish. Yes, I'll I will help you find your blue fish as soon as I'm done. Is that cool? Uh huh. Yep. That fish, um, it, mm -hmm. it makes them sit down. Mm -hmm. It makes the cat like, sit down. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, you can find that fish that makes the cat sit down. <laughs> uh, anyway, <clears throat> yeah, there's a bunch of bugs, there's a bunch of issues, but it's still fun. Guys, if you're new to these videos, I do everything in one take. I don't edit. Um, it's just more fun to have a personal you know, conversation than it is for me to try to cut out Silly things. Corbin's been in the room with me pretty much constantly now. He likes his new PC that I built him for Christmas. And uh, he really likes Minecraft, so he's hanging out most of the time when I record now. <laughs> so, hope you guys are cool with that. It's probably going to become a Death and Corbin channel at some point. I guarantee it. But, uh, the game has so much room to improve. Think about Destiny and The Division. Think about those two games when they very first came out. Destiny, when it first came out, oof. You finish your five bounties, and if you weren't doing the raid... That was it. What else were you going to do? I mean, there was fun gameplay to be had, but the loot chase was much more limited. Um, the Division, lots of patches, lots of update, and the quality of life went way, way up. So, a game like this, while, yeah, more time in development could have helped, maybe. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> I don't mind it being out, letting us play it, seeing what it's all about, having fun. I like the flight mechanics. I wish you had, like, a, an afterburner you could kick in to make it the flight go, like, double speed. That would be really cool. Maybe one day. But uh, that's that, that I don't know. Flight flight feels cool, but if you pay real attention, like, I'm not going that fast. Uh, that's the one thing I wish they would do with the flight. Um, <clears throat> so, like I said, if you played the demo and you liked it, you're going to like this game. You should get it. If you've seen the game played a lot, you like it, you keep watching it, you think this would be fun to play, yeah, it's probably worth getting. If you're on the fence, you're undecided, you don't know, hold off. Wait a little longer. Maybe think about it. I don't know. I mean, it's just like any financial buying decision. And like I said, I may be at a different point in my life where a $60 game to me is worth the purchase for 100 hours of gameplay or something like that. I mean, I've already, I'm looking at my dashboard right now. I already have 34 hours in the game since last Friday, which is a lot. And that's not idle time. I haven't really been idle anywhere in the game. So <clears throat> to get that many hours in the first week is uh, pretty serious for me. So. I'm going to leave you with this. My favorite javelin. So you want to know what my favorite javelin is? Honestly, right now, it's Ranger. Ranger is my favorite javelin. I don't know why the middle of the road one always wins me over, but I want to be able to do all the things. I feel like uh, Colossus was too slow, but it just, needs, it just needs more stuff, and I need to learn it better. Especially now with the patch, I'll be able to you know keep the shield out, get it out quicker. Use it while I'm resing people. So Colossus will be interesting. I really like Ranger. Interceptor was my boy at the end of the demo. I really liked Interceptor, and I still really liked Interceptor. I started with Inter Interceptor on the uh, the game when it came out last week. I'll probably go back to Interceptor. Storm is the one that I can't quite get into. Um, I'm gonna have to get some gear to make Storm more exciting. Storm is interesting. I like the idea. It looks dang cool. But I just can't, I don't know, I hadn't made it, hadn't made, haven't made it function for me yet. So yeah, Ranger is my go-to. I like throwing the grenade, I like shooting the missile. I like uh, the ultimate, the ultimate, the ultima, the ultimate just popping the rockets out of your back and blowing everything up. That's fun. 
I like its mobility. It's not as mobile as Interceptor, but it's mobile. I like it. So that's what I think. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Uh, don't mind the interruptions by Corbin. He's just having fun playing Minecraft, and we're going to hang out. So he said, yeah, dude. Uh, <clears throat> so thanks for watching. Let me know. What's your favorite javelin, and are you picking Anthem up on Friday? Are you already playing it? Let me know in the comments. And don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed this. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. And do all kinds of things. And check the links out in the description. We got live streams. We got Facebook pages. We got all sorts of stuff. What, Corbin? What is this gray dirt called? Clay. It's called clay. <laughs> okay, then I don't know. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And uh, I'm Death from Above. He's Corbin. And I'll see you later. See you, bye.